do you do it and then you'll intro me or what's your what's your well i've never really done a sarah cam before oh okay this is it <laughs> this is it yeah we're doing it okay hey everybody this isn't technically an episode of seattle by sarah it's just a fun little adventure with susan and steve we are going to be among the first riders of the new What's it called? First Hill Street Seattle Car. Street the First car. Hill Street Car. This is very exciting. It's a momentous day. We now can skip taking the bus to work, and that is huge. And it's raining, so it's the perfect weather to give it a shot. It's pouring. Let's Wouldn't go. It'd be nice if we were. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I blow it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Steve, tell us what's happening. We are on the streetcar headed towards Pioneer Square, and it is stopped. Nothing has happened yet. We got it hasn't on. Moved. In order to get on, you have to press the button. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit more of an engaging transit experience than just <laughs> walking on the bus. No, I um, disagree because when you walk on the bus, you have to like be worried about if your worker card is going to work or not. And you have to say hello to the bus driver. Yes, that's true. Well, it's okay. so, Steve, on this journey from Capitol Hill to Pioneer Square, how is the streetcar operating? Oh, on the oh, downhill oh, inbound oh, segment, oh, it is running yeah. all off of battery power. Really? These are hybrid. <laughs> Um, trains, which is one of the reasons that it took so long to get built and to get ready, is because they were innovating <laughs> on the streetcar technology. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had no idea. I'm learning so much. About to turn from Broadway onto Yesler, going away from Pioneer Square to kind of make the loop around before we can head down Jackson Street. The train has three sections and two joints and the train is going to bend as we turn around the corner, much like other trains you've seen in the world. <laughs> what, is, what is that bend called? It can't just be a bend. It's called an articulated train. <laughs> Here so we are. It is the bend. We're articulating. <laughs> that was a very smooth turn. Mm -hmm. So at every station, there's an elevation on the ground of the um, of the track or what they call the alignment. And so every station that, or the station that you're at has a corresponding light. Um, and you can see we are now at the uh, Little Saigon stop. And if you go up the hill, um, you can see stops for the other parts of the line as well. So where our elevation right now on 13th Avenue is 173 feet above, above sea, level. sea level. That's correct. Did you notice what it was in Pioneer Square? I did not. Cool! So we're hanging out at the Little Saigon 12th and Jackson stop, and Steve has been noticing all of these really interesting things about the map. Do you mind pointing them out? Yeah, so the map not only encompasses the streetcar uh, transit options, but you can see where bus stops are, where their Pronto bike share stops, um, and even on some of the other ones not in this area of the, of the alignment, there are other, uh, other ones as well. So we're just sitting here looking at this cool map, 173 feet above sea level. <laughs> Time to get on Big Bird. <laughs> I think of it as like a like an ear of corn. Right? <laughs> Time to corn. get on the ear of corn. Down there. That's so badass. Seriously, that is so badass. Watch us out. 